the kids we have are not resilient. They tend not to be able to cope with changes. And some of them, believe me, are under huge stress. It's the same thing I hear every time. It's for, for the bad kids. It's for the, the kids who beat everybody up. It's the bullies. It's, it's the drug dealers. <laughs> Stretch has always been a school for kids who haven't been successful in the regular system. My name's Angie and this is my first year at Stretch, my second term. And basically I came here because this is my last shot at high school. <laughs> the school I went to before Stretch was Hugh Boyd and I didn't do so well there. <laughs> um, because it's school, I guess, I don't know. At the time it was just like, Getting high and smoking pot was a lot more fun than sitting in English class and listening to Miss Corber babble on. Before I came to Stretch, all I'd really heard about it was that it was a really bad school filled with really bad kids and basically it was like a prison. All the kids that got messed up on drugs and stuff got sent here and other than that, I don't know. My parents basically forbid me to come to the school and when they found out that it was really the only alternative in order for me to graduate, then they were like, okay, I guess we'll give her. <laughs> oh, it is, it's a baby owl. <laughs> I think for just about every student we have, school has just been a source of frustration, of anger, of failure, basically. That's why they're coming here. They've never liked school. They've never really liked the teachers, most teachers, I think. They've probably always hated the administration, principals and vice principals. And it's just been a horrible place to have to go to every day. They come to Stretch. They start calling everybody on staff by their first names, which is totally different. The classes are small. They get lots of help in the class. Uh, we use a lot of humor at Stretch. And for a billion years. Karen? She's crazy. Um, she's lots of fun. Definitely lots of fun. She would get us all hyped up in science class. Um, she'd jump on the tables, run around the room. Like, she would just entertain us. She was a lot of fun. I think the biggest way that we support them as a staff outside is the food program. We have food donated from a variety of sources, bakeries um, and restaurants and that sort of thing, as well as as money from clothing stores. So with the, with the food supplies, we can feed them breakfast, we keep food out all the time. And actually, I've noticed that makes the biggest difference in terms of kids being ready to learn. It's a hierarchy of needs. And we have a lot of kids coming here hungry or who can't eat breakfast for a variety of reasons. Just shake it. <laughs> like a fridge, if you have them, them fridge. You put a little bit of water in it? Oh my God. No, you can put water from the fountain. One of the sayings I learned when I was a young teacher is to catch them being good. And a lot of times, the kids that get the most attention in class are the ones who are misbehaving, right? You, be quiet, you get back to work, you do this, you do that, and the students who are working really hard don't get enough attention. And I've always tried, and I think all of us at Stretch try to give the ones who are working hard their share of the attention. So they start seeing us as people, not as teachers, not as the person to hide things from. They start viewing us as people who can help with the problem. You have no friends. Oh yeah? In school and out of school, at home, wherever. And when they start to, to see us that way, you see a huge change in behavior. All of a sudden they're showing up every day. They're trying really hard in class they're getting way better marks than they ever did before. And when I talk to previous administrators of these students, they, they just can't believe it's the same student. Both Mark and I have taught here for 18 and 19 years respectively. We never thought we'd stay, but here we are. Um, we, one critical thing is to have staff members that can joke with a sense of humor. Um, it's the only way you can diffuse some of these situations. And a strong staff leaves us um, much more intact to help the kids. You have to feel like you're back. Someone's got your back and then you can give to these kids or 
deal with the situations that come up. And the students, it's a fa I feel, I never thought I'd say this, but when they go at the end of January and June, I, I feel really sad. Oh. <laughs> When I was born to stretch, you know, you're having other problems elsewhere and you're not able to go to regular school and concentrate. And this is a place where you can feel more at home and, you know, you know that there's people there that really care about you because it's such a smaller group of people. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Good. It's a place where you can feel safe. Definitely, because I definitely felt safe coming here. And um, I don't know, stretch is, to me, stretch is just such a wonderful place. If you have problems in your life and you can't attend school and you want to still, you know, go to school and stuff like that, this is a great place to start off with. It really helps you get back onto your feet. We still got the same old ghetto lockers, so it still looks like home. And so you see this real change in behavior. It's like a 180 degree turn in their approach to school and their approach to adults. They learn to trust adults again. You know, they probably did when they were small kids and they lose that somewhere. I mean, it's a great place to work. The kids are great. There's days, good days and bad days like anything else. But, you know, I think the staff and the students love it here. It works.